Alright guys, welcome back to another video. I want to talk to you today about some new analog pocket stuff that I found out that I saw some a new core that has popped up, the Performin Arcade Core, and as well as something that just completely blew my mind, and it was the PS1 was running on at the analog pocket. But here you can see on my light above this, so it shines. One thing about the analog pocket that I will mention is that I already got scratches on it. This thing, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this thing scratches very easily. Something in my original review I hadn't experienced, but definitely look into getting like a skin or some sort of cover for this thing if you want to keep the body of it in good shape i'm probably going to look into buying a skin for it so i can stop getting scratches on it but i mean at the end of the day i'm using it almost every single day it's gonna get scuffed it's gonna get wear it gives a character and all that type of stuff but let's take a look here at the performing arcade core which is pretty cool i had never really heard about this it was an arcade core that was released in japan or it was an arcade in japan and you're pretty much going around trying to defeat your enemies and then getting through the levels you go down here to the open fpga i usually have everything just installed on here i like checking out all of the random stuff one thing when it comes to these retro games like i'm no expert whatsoever i've played a lot of retro games in my life but there are so many things in here from all of these different catalogs that i have never played and this is why i'm absolutely loving this thing because i'm experiencing games that i've never been able to check out before and playing it in like with the fpga just feels great and runs amazingly on this thing so we go down here to was performing this was just in my life i use the the updater which is something you can easily download from github and it automatically puts on any new cores that are released for the analog pocket and the performance came up here i was like okay what's this let's check it out let's see what this thing is all about and um yeah hit run you get the uh, japan as well as you get the us i'm gonna go to the us version because i do not speak japanese my screen is a little bit dirty sorry about that got some dust on it this thing collects dust too what i'm doing for my screen protector in case anyone's interested i haven't put it on yet but i it's really hard to find i live in canada so it's hard to get some of this things shipped in terms of like a tempered glass specifically for it so i just bought like a nintendo switch tempered glass and i'm just going to cut it with an exacto knife and put it on there i haven't done that yet though but here we go performing oh that is loud okay i'll turn that down and one so i'll go through the core first because one of the things i find with these arcade cores is the button layout i have no idea what they are and if you want to check those out you go into core settings you go to controls and you can see what the buttons are here you have fire fire and then you got the start button you got the coin button which is you can add coins to continue playing and add more lives so you don't have to continuously restart i guess but so you have controls, but you can change all of this type of stuff, which is really cool. What's cool about this arcade core is it does have the ability to put in all of these different options for scan lines. If you love scan lines, this core is going to have everything there for you. You also have coinage. You can actually just add coins by hitting the select button and it'll continuously. It's like you're putting money into an arcade machine or you can just select like one coin equals how many credits or just go free play. Then you don't have to worry about hitting, hitting the coins I, I just keep it on one for one i kind of like that authentic experience so i just keep it there demo sounds you have cabinet which it's the way i believe that it displays in terms of an upright cabinet or a cocktail cabinet intermissions i'm not 100 percent sure what that is i've never turned it on and i'm just gonna leave that off for now service mode you have lives you can put as, as many lives you want in this game you can even change the difficulty from easy medium hardest you know what? i'm on hard right now but for this demo since it's hard to play through the camera i'm just gonna go to easy so i don't die instantly do bonus life so all these different options i mean you go through them and you can select the one that you want and then you can reset the default so there's actually a lot of options on this performing core and it's really cool and the game is actually quite fun i had never played it before it's from taito and it is just a basic arcade game where you're going through you can dig through the ground to avoid enemies or you can shoot at them as you're going through you can actually shoot these bombs on the side here which would if it got caught in there kill them and you go through and if you want to dig to like avoid and stuff and I guess get around the enemies you can do that too it's pretty cool um so i would highly recommend no i already I even died but again it's hard to play via the camera but i would highly recommend just going to add this in there try it out and uh, use that upgrade updater the analog updater to easily just add this stuff over onto your analog it takes two seconds boom it upgrades it or updates it and adds it in there and again you want to try new stuff that's the best way to do it now let's jump over here i want to talk to show you off the the playstation one running on this thing 
which I didn't think was at all possible, but it just blew my mind when I saw this tweet. All right, so here we are, and this is via pgate1, and obviously I don't understand Japanese, so you have this nice translate feature here on Twitter and it tells you exactly what's going on here. It says PlayStation on an FPGA featuring Pocket. You can now play Tobol number one in analog Pocket. It's slow because parallel execution of CPU and GPU is not done yet, but I think there is little flickering. Well, it's almost like raw poly. And so this person has been able to get the PlayStation one core running on the analog pocket, open FPGA, and it just blew my mind when I saw this because I didn't think this was even remotely possible. I didn't even think it was powerful enough to be able to run something like this, but obviously with adjustments, because right now, from what I understand with this core, there is no sound in these games. And then there's also some reductions, I believe in like the textures or something like that for this to actually run. But the fact that it was actually able to get up and running to me is very, very cool. And you can go and you can see here, move forward here the game is running it's not like centered the screen isn't taking up the entire pocket but the fact that this is able to get up and running on the analog pocket to me is remarkable and maybe this is something in the future that with a bit more work going forward they're going to be able to release something that is playable for everybody out here we continue down here looking more at this so this original tweet was on january 19th and they're just saying core assets for the pocket are here far from playable so if you want to go and try it yourself and then let's see what this one says here. PlayStation on FPGA Pocket, the menu screen looks something like this. The resource utilization was 95% and the sound circuit did not enter. So again, keep that in mind, there is no sound. Even if the geometry engine is not solidly written, the circuit scale may be reduced a little. And then January 20th, we got some more just craziness here that, that's running on here. PlayStation FPGA featuring the Pocket, Einhander Flickers, so be careful when browsing textures drawing is slow because VRAM and main memory are shared with a mystery function that switches to raw poly display with the select button. For some reason, the camera is in focus. You see how they're trying to work it out here and get this game running. Obviously, there's going to be issues for a bit, but at some point, I think they keep working through it. These developers are, are really impressive that they're able to get this stuff running, that they may get uh, a PS1 core on here in the future. So really cool stuff and i'll just go over to p gate one because i think they had another update here on the playstation one analog pocket and here it is playstation on fpga so this was just two days ago reduced flicker added cd rom controller function and support for 512 horizontal pixels i was able to move do prism and sega frontier 2. more games playstation one here running on the analog pocket continuously improving so i really hope this is something that eventually gets to a state that you can just use the updater and get this core on there and be able to play these games even if they're reduced versions i think that would be really really cool this device continues to be impressive to me i know there's a lot of people out there complaining that they haven't received it i ordered a dock and i ordered the case i'm probably not going to get that for like a year from what i understand but man this thing continuously improves and hey at the end of the day Maybe you don't get yours for another year or something, but there'll probably be a lot more features added to it that you're going to get it into it right away and not have to wait for it. So if you want to talk about those two new things added to the analog pocket or one that potentially could be added. But if you're new here, hit that subscribe. If you like what you see, hit that thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next video.